In this segment, we're going to have a look at how to convert an old apple orchard to the Solax system. We have a movie on the Solax system. It's a good idea to watch that movie before watching this one. The Solax branches are trained downward at an angle that is just below the horizontal. This will slow their growth and make them fruitful and productive. The most common conversion is to take a tree with a central leader and remove branches from the central leader that one would never be able to get below the horizontal. The other branches are tied three-dimensionally around the tree just below the horizontal. There is a lot of sawing in year one. In year two, select the 18 to 22 branches of the central leader and train them just below the horizontal, which can be awkward when trying to train a branch as thick as one's arm. Occasionally, a few incisions may have to be made at the point where the branch joins the central leader to make the branch more supple and more flexible to be able to get it below the horizontal. Wire is used to hold these thicker branches below the horizontal. Remove all forks and all thicker competing branches off the Solax branches. Apart from the Solax branches, all growth is removed from the central leader. All growth is removed from the Solex branches up to 40 centimeters from the central leader. This creates a chimney down which light can flow into the center of the tree. As light promotes food production in the tree, this availability of light throughout the structure will result in a very healthy and productive fruit tree. It is possible to convert a tree previously trained into a vase shape to the Solax system. In this case, three or four of the vase main leaders are selected as central leaders with 10 to 15 Solax branches on each. A chimney is cleared on each of the vase leaders. So you'd have three to four Solax trees in one tree. The initial expense to convert the tree is high. But the saving in pruning costs in the following years make the project worthwhile. Cutting large limbs from a tree can promote vigorous growth. To prevent this, mix 20 milliliters of Planofix with 1 liter of PVA paint and apply to large pruning wounds. It will prevent vigorous regrowth from the pruning wound. Despite all the wood that you take out of the tree, because the light penetration into the tree is so good with the Solax system, you very seldom see a drop in crop in the following year. The crop often stays the same and is often far greater. Please note that all of our pruning programs are there to give the general theory related to the pruning activity. Please adapt the information to your own situation and chat to a consultant who can advise you in your own orchard if you have further queries. Thank you.